and welcome, it's Fia again. Today we're going to do a merchant stall for 28mm miniatures. And this is just me showing how the finished result will look when it's still empty, of course. Here I'm showing you we're going to need some balsa wood, 5mm, 6mm will do, but the measurements will be different. Tongue depressor, a coffee stir stick, a popsicle stick cut in half lengthwise, and we're going to need some popsicle sticks as I'm showing you here. We're also going to use some tools uh, and the tools we're going to use is a pen, a ruler, we're going to use a brake blade knife, a pair of scissors, we're going to use a glue gun that I'm going to show you soon when I can get it in picture and then we're also going to use a side cutter. Here I'm just showing you in really quick speed how I'm cutting the balsa wood in pieces and they're cut in pieces of two pieces of 7.5 centimeters long, two pieces of 5.5 centimeters long and two pieces of 2 centimeters long and they're cut with one end being straight then cut at an angle and then what cut straight again so I got both pieces of the same length has one straight egg and one angled edge as I s try to show you here and this you will see explained why uh, a little bit further well, you see me cutting off I have a really nice cutting surface with centimeter grid lines makes it a little bit easier <laughs> I'm also working on a non-stick surface here and here I'm just taking three of my popsicle sticks and gluing them together uh, this is gonna become the angled shelf in front of the in the front of the merchant stall and I'm cutting it down measuring it and cutting it down here but this is something you can wait to do because here I actually made a little bit of a mistake uh, and wait to do it uh, until you have your legs glued down on your merchant stalls which will come up soon and cut it then and glue the little uh, end piece that I will show you soon as well uh, just to make it easier so you can glue your legs flush to the edges of the roof here I'm showing you it's a coffee stir stick and I'm just gluing it uh, so it sticks up on the edge and makes a stop uh, on my little shelf it's nothing fancy or special you see I'm just and I'm usually cutting when I'm doing just working with one piece I often just cut one edge straight and then I cut the other end when I'm finished uh, when I've glued everything down here I'm starting on the roof which is going to be six popsicle sticks glued together these popsicle sticks I will try to use as much of as possible my popsicle sticks is about 11 centimeters long but they have this rounded edge so I'm gonna cut them down to 10 and a half centimeters and as always measure twice cut once so I'm measuring everything out here uh, properly and then I'm gonna cut it so I get a nice square uh, or rectangle with nice edges okay here I'm taking the seven and a half and five and a half uh, centimeter long pieces uh, of balsa wood and here you see why I need them cut at an angle I want the front of the shop to be higher than the back of the shop so I'm just gonna glue them down uh, with small daubs of glue and this will not be stable yet Th we're gonna add stability further on in the build and here you see me realizing I made a bit of a mistake I actually had to move my legs since the shelf was not flush against the legs and that makes it really hard to f put it in place this is why I say you can wait to do this part or the shelf part until you come here it just makes it a little bit easier for you here I got my legs on and you see it's pretty unstable there's only a small glue point on each leg which makes it not very flush and you see the legs are a little bit spraying and stuff 
Here I'm using a tongue depressor, and this is going to be the front of the on the front of the shop, and also going to be where I put the sign for what the shop is for. So I'm just putting some hot glue, and then I'm going to line it up so it's edge to edge uh, with rounded sides sticking out on either sides. I'm sorry about my head, it's going to come in the way sometimes during this video. It's hard to get it flush without sticking my head on the, oh, on the camera. And as I go, I'm always taking away excess glue and stuff as soon as it's cool enough to touch. Here I'm just checking so my little shelf fits. And cutting away the excess tongue depressor. You see, uh, we still have a pretty wobbly uh, frame. Here I'm just measuring out uh, five popsicle sticks to ten and a half centimeters. That's gonna, gonna become the back wall. And I'm also uh, measuring out two pieces to nine and a half centimeters. That's gonna, gonna become the shelves in the back of the store. And I'm just writing on them to know which ones are which. Here I have the angle shelf piece. And now we're going to use the last two pieces of our balsa wood that we cut in the beginning. And I'm just putting small dabs of glue, like I did for the roof, and gluing the legs flush to the back end of the little shelf. And this is just to give it some more stability when you start putting stuff on it and touching it and moving it around and stuff. So I'm going to put some glue on the inside of the legs uh, after I've checked about how high it's going to be. And I'm going to push the glue down in it and make sure that those small legs are flush with the other legs on the stall and pressing the legs in so it sticks securely. Here I'm taking one popsicle stick and just cutting one edge off and we're gonna put some more st stabilizing on this little shelf. So I'm gluing on the front side of the large legs and on the underneath of the little shelf and I'm putting in just a stabilizer to make sure it doesn't break off too easily and stuff. Here cutting off the edge of that. Now I'm going in to put the wall back wall in, and this is pretty simple. I'm going to make it not uh, super tight, so I'm going to use five planks and just put them on with some gaps in between them. And now I'm going to put in those little two shelves I made, and here also make sure you measure uh, if you don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, and I'm just gluing them in against the back wall and between the back legs and trying to use as little hot glue as I can because this will show more and now I'm just putting in the l second shelf and trying to get it straight of course now I'm putting in another bracer for the back side of the roof and the back legs just to stabilize it some more and you're gonna see me I'm forgetting to put some glue on the roof part uh, so I'm gonna start to put it in and here I'm realizing, oh, I forgot something. So I'm putting a bead of glue just to make sure it's stable. And these ones, I've dropped them on the floor a couple times and they kept up. So this construction is pretty, pretty sturdy. And you saw me cut off the excess. Here I'm putting in the side stabilizer because the legs are not straight yet. Uh, so I'm putting in on the diagonal and this is why I'm not cutting off anything on the popsicle stick beforehand I'm doing it when it's glued in place and I'm also holding the frame trying to keep the legs straight while I'm while it's cooling down the glue and I'm doing it on both sides of the stall here I'm just showing you we're gonna put in uh, the bottom uh, Bracers, and that is where we use the half cut popsicle stick just to make it not so in the way and same as before make sure the legs are sturdy and stuff and glue it in and cut off the excess and here you see it's still a bit wobbly and this is an easy fix you just check the leg that is off put a dab of glue on it and let it harden 
Here I'm putting in the last bracers for the little shelf uh, that's at an angle and it's on the back side of the front uh, leg pair on the stall itself and this is just to make sure that if you press it down and stuff it doesn't break because that's the most breakable part on this construction that's the little shelf and that's it and this is the last part we're gonna glue in I'm here I'm just carving off excess wood and glue and stuff with my brake blade knife making sure it's nice and using a heat gun to get rid of all those glue wisps this is a great trick and here I'm showing you this is the unpainted and a painted version of my little merchant stall in the next uh, video we're gonna paint it up a little bit different than this one thanks for watching